This dish is what won me the king of Mississippi seafood dish. So if you guys aren't familiar, I am currently the king of Mississippi seafood. Hey guys, my name's Cooper Miller. I'm from Tupelo, Mississippi. I have a nice little restaurant there called Forklift. As a chef, the best meals that I had were prepared by my staff. The family meals when the Mexican guys would come in with their wives and their kids and they'd make stuff. Like that was, that was the most authentic and most delicious food I feel like I had. This stuff is rings, you know, true to my heart. The dish that I'll be making tonight for the Chef Jam event uh, is the same dish that I did for the King of Mississippi Seafood. It's a super great dish, one I'm really proud of, kind of a play on a fish taco, uh, a little bit more refined. So you have a chorizo and potato crusted snapper over a corn and corn chip puree, which is kind of supposed to act like the tortilla. Uh, the chefs down there were kind of giving me, giving me a little bit of grief about it. They're like, Fritos, really? Like, I was like, that's what's gonna win it. Just, just watch it. Uh, heirloom tomato pico on top, and the avocado and jalapeno sauce around the outside. And then real simple kind of salsa verde, and then we'll plate it up, tortilla uh, on the bottom as the puree, fish, pico, and then we'll kind of hit the salsa around the outside. But wanted to take the dish, you know, only got to cook it for three judges down there. And we've done it a few times at the restaurant, and it's just gotten great response. And so we figured we'd put it up on a little bigger stage that a few more people taste it this time. Mississippi's farmland, um, you know, fresh peas, corn. Uh, you know, my dad used to make a dish called Janetta, and named it after his mother. And uh, she had a lot of restaurants around Amory. I didn't know this till I got into cooking. And my family sat me down one day and told me all these stories. It's like, wow, this is great. So our neighbors would come by and drop off tomatoes and okra and corn and all this great stuff. And there was nothing fancy about it, but man, it was some good. So uh, I started cooking while I was in school at Mississippi State, getting my uh, business degree. Um, just did it just to just to pay the bills, you know. Didn't, had some buddies that waited tables at a local spot, and they're like, "Sure, come. We need a dishwasher," you know. So I went up there, washed dishes for about a year, and never forget the first night the fry cook got sick, and I got my first chance to jump on the line. And uh, I'll never forget that night getting done, covered head to toe in flour. Uh, just stations a mess, but uh, that feeling of accomplishment of cranking out five, 600 covers with a bunch of guys that I probably never even get along with or want to hang out with in real life. But for everyone to put their differences aside and, and push through a service like that, it was something super rewarding about that to me and uh, something I just latched on to. Just wanted to be a part of a team like that. So applied to Le Cordon Bleu here in Atlanta, came to Atlanta in uh, 07, and then just stayed here in Atlanta for 10 years, just soaking it all up. I mean, there's so much great food and chefs and culture here. Really kind of start to develop my, uh, my own cooking style, kind of based on what I love to do, but making sure that I took time to learn and appreciate what all was being done at all the different restaurants. Um, so it really molded me into who I am today, 100%. I wish y'all could see that vacation right now. This is so cool. Like everybody back there helping each other, you know, egos and everything put aside. I don't think anyone back there cares who wins this thing. We all just want to put some great food out in front of you guys.